class welcome and good morning in this video we will learn about sap ibap environment and get familiar with some of the uh, programming and development environment of uh, sap ibap so without wasting any time let's get started so as you can see Reports are a good starting point for familiarizing yourself with journal ABAP principles and tools. ABAP reports are used in many areas. Uh, in this video, we will see how easy it is to write a simple ABAP report. So uh, let's uh, me, let me give you some overview of ABAP reports. The most of the development or you can see programming and customization requirements uh, uh, in uh, SAP is mainly our reports because there are almost 16,000 plus database tables in SAP ABAP and in its RDBMS. So there are lots of lots of uh, uh, you can say tables and there are lots of foreign keys and primary keys and relationship between the database tables and all kinds of data is already available there. So mainly most of the custom requirements are of reports that user want to fetch reports from multiple screens and want to see it in first screen uh, as a single report. So he, on the basis of that report, he can do his calculations uh, or he can whatever compare the data of previous year with current year or next year. So the my point of view is just this that ABAP reports are mostly and widely used in SAP ABAP development. So if you have good hands-on or grip and you know how to create a report uh, in SAP ABAP, then you will have a good to go and then you will have a good starting point and a good base to start with the development SAP. So let's create a common example of hello world which we mostly take in any other language like C, C++ and Java or C sharp. So let's get it started with the common hello world example. Oops, let me hide this toolbar again for you. So each ABAP statement start with an ABAP keywords and ends with a period. Keywords must be separated by at least one space. It doesn't matter whether or not use one or several lines for an ABAP statements. You need to enter your code using the ABAP editor that is a part of ABAP tools delivered with the SAP NetWare application server, uh, which is known as as ABAP. As ABAP is an application server with its own database, ABAP runtime, and ABAP development tools such as ABAP editor. The as ABAP offers a development prof platform that is independent of hardware operating system and database. Now focus on this word as a BAP. So whenever you purchase or purchase the SAP ABAP ERP for your company organization, then you have some consultants or third party that come to your company and install a complete SAP ERP package uh, into your system as per your requirements. So they have two options. They can install it as, as Java, as a BAP or as both. So with the help of as Java, you can do programming in Java language and as a BAP, if it is installed uh, in your company or organization as, as a BAP, so then you have to done all the customization and SAP development in a BAP language, which is stands for Advanced Business Application Programming. So let's get familiar with a BAP editor. So these are the steps which now we will perform one by one live on our SAP ERP GUI. So I have already logged in into my uh, SAP GUI. So let's start it by step by step. In step one, you have to start the transaction SE38 to navigate to the ABAP editor. Okay. So let's start creating a report uh, that is one of the many ABAP objects. So let's perform this step one into our SAP ABAP. So here is our transaction menu. As uh, mentioned in step one, we will write here SE38 and press enter. So this is a BAB editor initial screen. So now we will create hello world program. So let's name it at Z hello one. 
okay in step 2 you can see on the initial screen of the editor specify the name of your report in the input field program you must specify name as that hello one it is just an example you can name it any uh, name you want for your ease here one thing is important whatever customization or custom development we do in sap it is start with z whether we are creating program whether we are creating database tables or any other things it must start with s so let's copy this and z hello one we are right in the program field and let's press on create button it will ask for title Hello, Warren Program for Learning Purpose. In other fields, we will, there are multiple options in type, we will select an executable program. You can leave it blank, both of them blank, and just press on save. Now here it will ask about package so whatever customization or development we do in sap it all goes and stored and save into one package so in the coming upcoming lecture we will also learn about how to create package and what are packages and what are their relationship here just we will use an already created package which is available in this current sap uh, my web system so i have one of package already created as a name of that sap and I will press the save button. So this is the transport request prompt. Basically, whatever program, report, table, or any kind of thing you create with the help of ABAP in SAP, it goes under a transport request. So we will also learn about what is transport request, how to create new transport request and how to transport that request from development server to QS server or production server. For now, I have already created one uh, test request. I will just select it so it cannot be transported into our live production system, which is very crucial. So I will go down here and select the test request and press use button. So this is a web editor IDE and it has created our report with the name of Z hello one. So let's see what are the next steps to perform. Uh, as you can see in this line, whatever the customization which are known as customer name in space includes all the object with the prefix Y or Z. As we have used Z here, we can also use Y. So it is always used when customer partner create objects like a report to differentiate these objects from uh, standard objects of SAP and to prevent name conflict with objects. SAP have their standard names. So just to avoid conflict with uh, customization and standard things, we use Y or Z prefix. In step three, you can type the report name in lowercase letter, but the editor will change it into uppercase. So the name of ABAP objects are not case sensitive. As you can see here, Z hello one is in uppercase. So after specifying name of the report, we clicked on create button, a pop-up a program a window, a web program attribute pop-up, and it uh, we have already given it the firmer information. We have chosen it as executable program and in a title. We have given our own title. Okay. Now you can see our report is created so far for this and to print hello world, which is always the uh, first uh, print line in any kind of language, whether it's C, 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 Sharp, Java, PHP, ASP.NET. So we will use the same hello world line in our first ABAP report. So the statement which we have to write is called write. We will write here, write. And in single quotes, we will write here, hello, world, and press the period button. So now let's save this uh, report. 
and we have uh, to run this uh, report we have to just activate it to so activation here is a button of activation and also a shortcut key or control plus f3 what activate do it's like compiler it checks your program for errors and if it's error free and there are no uh, runtime errors so it will just activate it in the memory and now we have to press f8 button to execute this program so here you can see this is the output of our first hello world report you can see here and this is the uh, description with which, which we gave to our program z hello one which was hello world program for learning purpose so here students we have learned today how to create a report in sap abab and how to print a simple hello world line in that program so thank you for your patience and good luck for the next lecture